Logarithmic functions. So here at the top, we have the definition of a logarithmic function. A logarithmic function, we read this off log base b of x equals y. This is an if and only if statement that connects together the logarithmic form of an equation with the exponential form of an equation. Some things to note on this. The first thing is this is the formula that's gonna allow us to convert back and forth in between these two different formats of equations. I read this off as log base b. So we're referring to the subscript as b a base. Notice in the exponential form, whenever you have something raised to a power, we also refer to that b as being the base. So in looking in between these two different formats, this is log base b of x, x is being plugged into this logarithmic function. So it wouldn't make sense to have a log without something sitting after it. Um, some other things to note, when we're switching between our formats, I always line up my base first, whether I start in exponential form and go to logarithmic form, or I start in logarithmic form and wanna rewrite this in exponential form. As we line this up, this kind of looks like b raised to the x power. That's not what it means, but that's what it sort of looks like. So when we switch over to exponential form, this is not gonna be our base raised to the same power. <clears throat> not that that's exactly what this means, but that's what it kind of looks like. It's not gonna look the same in exponential form. Some other things to note on this, when we were dealing with exponential functions, we said our base had to be positive, had to be greater than zero, and it couldn't equal one. The same thing is true with our base. It has to be greater than zero or positive and not equal to one in the logarithmic format as well. The last things to mention on this before we actually convert between these two are uh, domain and range. <clears throat> the domain for our logarithmic function is just gonna be positive values from zero to infinity while the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's jump into a few examples. This is that same definition um, brought along here. So our goal in these first ones is to switch from logarithmic format over into exponential form. So the first thing I'm gonna do is first of all, locate my base. So on this first one, six is our base. So I'm gonna line that up to begin with. This one looks like six raised to the square root of six. So in exponential form, this is not gonna be six raised to that square root of six. Instead, this will have the one half as the exponent. We haven't used the square root of six, so it's gonna go on the other side. Moving over to the right-hand side, I'm gonna line up my base first is gonna be three. It's not gonna be raised to the ninth power because that's what the logarithmic format kind of looks like. So it'll be three to the second power, and then we'll put the nine on the other side. Log base five of 25 equals two. We'll say five's our base, line that up first. That looks like five to the 25th power, so can't use that for our exponents. We'll use the two for our exponent this is gonna equal 25. And one last one going from logarithmic to exponential form before we switch to the other direction, line up our base is 10. That'll be raised to the sixth power equals 1 million. All right, now converting from exponential to logarithmic format. As you can see over the right-hand side, we have our definition of logarithm, but this time we start in the exponential form. We wanna rewrite this in logarithmic form. So for each one of these, we're gonna have a log involved. I first identify my base here, whatever is raised to the exponent is gonna be two. So that's gonna go as our subscript. This is two to the third power. So this is not gonna look like two to the third power. So the eight goes on the inside here, is gonna equal three. Hadn't used the three yet. And the next one, we have log base five of 25 equals two. A Little bit different looking one on the right-hand side, 10 to the negative fourth equals one ten thousandth. But all we need to do is just be careful. This is gonna be a log. Our base is gonna be 10 because it's raised to the exponent here. This is 10 to the negative fourth. So this is not gonna look like 10 to the negative fourth. So our one ten thousandth has to go in here. And we haven't used the negative four yet, so it goes on the other side. We'll wrap these up pretty quickly. Log base three of nine is gonna equal two. Log base five of 125 is gonna equal three. And on this last one, log the base of two, because that's what has the exponent attached to it. We, uh, this is two to the negative first, so this is gonna, not gonna be two looking like it's to the negative first power. So we'll put the one half on the inside here. The negative one is going to go on the other side, and that completes this video. Um, this is a very important 
formula to understand and memorize. Um, so get comfortable with it, practice some of these problems, you'll get it without too much problems. Um, you know, just takes a little bit of practice. Good luck.